Hi everyone. Thank you for joining me in another CSA tutorial. This time I would like to show you how to create a software product in CSA. Let's say there's a new employee in my company and I want to know whether our company has an available office license. Instead of keeping lists and Excel sheets, I can use CSA software product feature to keep constant tracks of our software licenses. In order for this feature to work, a CSA agent must be installed. Before I show you the software product feature, let's see a software list on a single asset. Clicking on a specific asset will allow us to see information about that asset. We do that by clicking on the Assets tab, Asset Management section, Asset List. Let's double click on the asset we want to look into. All software installed on the specific asset is displayed here on this list. In order to create a software product, let's click on the Assets tab, Asset Management section, Software Products. Let's enter all the relevant data in order to create this new software product. Let's give the product a name. I would like it to be Photoshop, version 14. The vendor would be Adobe. Number of licenses purchased would be 20. If the information is available, I can also select the purchase date and the support expiration date, and also associate a software product with a company. A click on the Select button will display a list of all software products installed on all system assets. Let's look for Photoshop and click and select it from the list. And now let's save our new software product by clicking OK. The new software product is now displayed on the list. If I click and open the screen again, I can see that the software ID has been initiated and furthermore, I can see that one asset has this software product installed on. Clicking on the Show Assets using the software link will lead to a list of assets which have all software product already installed. Let's say you want to move the license from one asset to another. This list will give you a complete picture. You now know how to create software products. Good luck and see you on our next tutorial.